was born in these woods and these hills are my home hi everyone happy tuesday it is my 19th talk to me tuesday it is um september 6 2011 i almost forgot the date <laughs> um but uh the items that you just saw were some that i am doing a um Kind of like the group exchange for a few months uh, with this one group called Mary Jane's Farm. It's um, the lady has a magazine and it has arts and crafts and some of the living stuff and cooking and um, just a wide variety of different things. But uh, she has a community online that I belong with, and so uh, I have a secret sister right now and I send stuff to a secret sister and another one sends me items and the items that you just saw were some of those that I just received um, late this past week. So um, I don't have a whole lot to show. Um, a few things that I do have is I did get my, um, my fabric. You start the Marabella project, which I haven't started it yet, but this is the fabric that I got. So I think it will go nicely. Um, I didn't realize at the time I went to the shop. The shop that I went to is kind of in the next town over, but it's probably like maybe 15, 20 minutes away or so. And the lady has sewing machine, she has fabric, she has cross stitch items, she has knitting and crochet stuff. So she has a wide variety of different stuff. I really like her shop and I've been going there off and on the last few years. N not as often as I would like, just because it's a little far away. But um, she's had the shop for over 22 years. But And I didn't realize when I was purchasing my stuff, but when I got home, I realized I had an email from her, or well, for a newsletter from her website saying that she's retiring, which is great, um, but because of that, she's trying to sell her shop, and by the end of December, and if it doesn't get sold, then she uh, is going to eventually close the shop, which will be, I think, really sad. Um, and I don't won't have a dealer anymore for my sewing machine. But so I was really sad about that. Um, in that same town, there's only one other independent store, but they just have fabric. They and they do long arm services, but they don't sell machines. They don't have cross stitch items. They don't have the yarn and stuff. And while Joanne's. Uh, in town that I live in does have some stuff. They don't have nearly as much stuff as passage and stuff that I would um that I like them to have. But anyways, um the only item that I have really to show that I've been working on is I've been doing more on the little cat teacup. And I don't know if you can see but right here this is all white and you I don't know if you can see it that well. Um, I always think it's kind of a pain to have to do the white because, I don't know, it's already white. But, um, but yeah, so I haven't gotten too far on here. Um, that's all I've been doing, but I did work on it quite a bit yesterday. Uh, and this is what the end result will be. And this will be, again, we'll be going to a charity group. Um, it's supposed to be in for folks, and I need to get working on it because it's actually due on the 15th. Um, the only other thing I have to show, which I forgot to show last week, was I happened to see this magazine called Cross Stitch in New York. And um, so I got a membership or subscription. And I just happened to see this one design in here, and I thought um, a lot of people here would like it. Um, the name of the designing company is called Prairie Moon, but I guess the designer 
for the people to design our names are Barb Scheiberg and Sue uh, Shed She. Not quite sure. But, anyways, here's one of them, one of the patterns. Now, they don't actually have these patterns in the magazine. It's just, you know, just them talking about um, being interviewed for the magazine. But, um, and then here is a skeleton or Halloween one and then here's one where they're having I don't know if it's the day of the dead or some Santa Fe Mexican celebration but it looks like Mr. and Mrs. Skeleton are having a grand time because they're drinking I wonder how much they have to drink in order to get drunk <laughs> um, anyway um, but anyways, uh, I showed these to my husband because he really likes, um, like Day of the Dead and stuff. So, uh, he really liked this one. So we got, I ordered, um, a pattern online of this one and I actually ordered the fabric, um, as well. But then on the one website I saw, they have a Christmas one and they have the couple, the Mr. and Mrs. Skeleton. And then right beside it, they have a dog. And then they have their little tree. And on the tree, they have little skeleton heads. And then in the background, they have a, uh, a picture. Um, and it's of a cat skeleton. So I was like, oh, that's so cute. Like, we have to get that. That's on our family. <laughs> um, and I wasn't quite sure why the cat was hanging up on the wall as a painting. I don't know if maybe the dog ate the cat. You never know. Um, the the dog was standing right next to the, the skeleton couple, so maybe he had a treat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to give our dog any ideas for our cat. But anyways, uh, I just thought it was kind of funny that, that they have the the cat in the picture. Like he is long deceased and no longer among them. Well, I guess. But um, I mean, they're skeletons, anyways. But you know. Um, but so I thought several of you again would like um, these patterns that um, that they had, and it, again it's from Prairie Moon. Yeah, j just Prairie Moon. Um, and you can Google, it and there's a few other items that um, uh, places that have them. The place I ordered from, they had the background fabric for both of the patterns, and they also had the pattern itself, but they're taking, um, I guess, a couple of weeks or so to get it to me. But, um, and I saw this other pattern in here. I thought it was cute. And there's another Halloween one, which is cute. It's more of a, a simple Halloween pattern. Um, but I thought the tree in it was really um, pretty because it's a fall, very autumn. Um, I don't know if I can find it. I should have. Oh, there it is. So, just Mr. Ghost and the cat, and everyone's have a grand old time. But I really loved this tree because of all the the autumn colors. But so that's all I have. Um, don't have anything else. So, hope everyone's doing good. Take care, everyone.